Uh oh. This is a recording of a live stream. It may contain bloopers and frequent distractions. The audio and video quality may vary. Thank you for your understanding and please enjoy. So, Tamlin, you would like to check out the ladder? Yes, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. You go back at it, approach the ladder. One step after another, slowly but surely, surely you climb up to about 20 feet and it's dark. But as you feel, you, you have a map lid above your head. Would you like to push it? Try to push it up. I think you're muted, Reggie. Yeah, I can't hear you at the moment, sorry. Can't hear so you. Muted. Can you hear me now? Mm, yes. yes. Okay. Can I use uh, like a dexterity or sleight of hand roll to see if I can lift it up as gently as possible so i don't certainly make a sleight of hand check make that thing disappear in your pocket <laughs> i'm gonna steal the Nine. light not bad i mean you are an expert in sleight of hand after all it takes you no effort as you just just push it up a little so that your pair of eyes can see you appear to be in the cellar, cellar of some kind. Like as your eyes get, get used to the darkness, it appears to be, uh, well, 60 by 30 feet big room. You see several crates and barrels. Looks like a storage room for maybe a tavern. Mm. <laughs> he shouldn't let Rurik up there. <laughs> Don't let him know that. Don't let him know that. <laughs> well, I mean, I can actually keep this a secret from my party, Absolutely. couldn't I? Nobody yeah, okay. else knows. What would you like to do? Tamron, what do you see up there? I don't see any booze. <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, was very specific for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> there is no booze up there. None. It seems to be some kind of cellar. Well. I'll leave out the bit about it being a tavern. It oh. could get us in trouble if we try to rest there because if the owner sees us and calls the guards we are in trouble because we broke into someone's home technically yeah exactly mm. well are we giving on then you, or are we... you, you softly let down the lid climb down to your companions and you're having a little chatter but what to do next if we oh. go up there we're not breaking anything right so technically we're not breaking it Definitely Not entering quite sure a person's that's how property. Trespassing works. Well, Love brings out his dictionary and looks for the definition <laughs> <laughs> the... of breaking in. Well, if we can't go up there, let's continue on. Just keep an eye out for these creatures. Get Agreed. The Amongst all of our other there. troubles, I don't think trespassing should be another one. Let's well, keep following what? the eyes. What if we knock loudly on the, uh, on the lid? <laughs> Someone might come. Technically, we can ask if we can enter, right? Four Not to sound like an asshole. Faces, but how often did you, in your family's estate, stay in the cellar and listen for someone to knock on a lid in the cellar? That's a trick question. You know, you would have had servants for that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, we we didn't often go to the wine cellar. We let people bring us the bottles. But and even they would not spend all their day down there. Not all day, I would say, but a majority. <laughs> Again, another noble typically disconnected from society. Let's just move on before we get into any more trouble. Let's go. Just keep your all eyes right. peeled. As you move on, um, each and everybody, each and everyone, make another stealth check for me. As you oh, try to be it. quiet and not uh, um, 
alert. I need more creatures lurking out there. Jeez. How nice that I'm that wearing. Is terrible. <laughs> Rurik, <laughs> you, Rick, you have With the same a problem. Disadvantage. So disadvantage. You need to roll one more. Disadvantage. Heavy armor. God damn it. Uh, so sorry. sorry. Ooh. Whoa. Well, was there very I'm sorry weird. to say that the guy in the scale may, which is, I think, of all the armors we are wearing, the heaviest, is currently the stealthiest. <laughs> um, Rory, give me... There we go. Madness. Nice, Rory! Oh my god. Battle Brothers! Uh, um, brothers. Similar to Matthew Mercer, I will actually use, because I feel like it makes sense, uh, use, like, group stealth checks, right? And in this case, like, uh, Two of you succeeded. Tamron is somewhat meh, uh, but Rurik had a, a, a decent roll. Right, um, ten actually is enough, barely, barely. Okay. But as you continue on for like five minutes or so, the sidewalk next to the flow of sewage is next to you. On your side, expands into like a circular hub next to it. Right? You see another ladder going up, um, but is this is like, like a circular hub uh, with stone footing, a little bit away from the water, um, and diameter of 30 feet. As you peer up, there's a heavy locked metal lid at the end of the ladder. Rogue? open okay let's see how this goes this time <laughs> but you could certainly even try to take a short rest down here all right still tamron as you climb up the ladder and try to pick the lock i presume you do so with disadvantage because holding yourself on the ladder is quite uncomfortable for like this That's i don't appreciate that Jax. I'm so sorry, but that's how it works. <laughs> Let's see. Sh should I show you how it works? Just fuck you, okay? Let me do this. <laughs> how, about, how about, like, Tamarin goes in a squat position, and then Strenathos can, like, freeze his, his legs? It's a bit creative. <laughs> that. Right, well. Believe in yourself. Alrighty. So make your lock picking to think stools track with disadvantage as you're trying to balance on the ladder because you need both hands to some detailed work. That's a tan, um, unfortunately. Not too good. Um you it's it's due to the footing, right? You you almost had it, but then you lose footing. Um and to catch you you have to Drop your shit and you won't be able to do it. Sorry. It's too tricky to pick the lock on this ladder. Again. As you hear a little clinging noise of the uh, your lock hitting the stone stone floor. That's right, that's any magic. Could let a little So, how high would it be? Like 20 feet, right? Yeah. Alright, then uh, I'll just uh, use, the use the mage hand and pick up the lockpicks for him and bring mm -hmm. him back up. Okay. Here you go, Tamron. <laughs> you see, out of... Out of almost nowhere, as he just as as Reifus gestures <laughs> with his hand, out of thin air, a slightly bluish astral hand appears that floats down, picks up both lockpicks, floats up, and reaches you, Tamron, floating next to you, gently placing them in your hand, then <laughs> vanishing into thin air again. <clears throat> That's a neat trick. Ready, if you want, you can try one more time with disadvantage again. 
especially now it would be two disadvantages as you know if you like do a check two two times first one fail i will always give you, give you disadvantage right um but since it doesn't stack just another roll with disadvantage so let's see what you got Jibrin, open up that Ooh. shit 15 due to disadvantage would be six 26 otherwise wow still um this is actually like not an external lock but it's in the uh, built into the lid right this one isn't circular either this appears to be massive it's a very intricate lock 15 is actually not even enough to pick whoa you feel like you won't be able to do so maybe this we'll find no, a few further this is in no mega lock this is complex whatever's on the other side either well, keeping something in or ganking people out We need to unlock Alhamora. It's right us. How about... And he looks around. Is is there any any yellow shock mark again that gives us a direction? Uh, make a perception check. Mm -hmm. Natural fucking 20. That's the fucking third, fourth one this... Session already. Wow. Uh, good job, guys. We might be really in for a blast. Um, all right. The, like the way here, you saw some markings. Um, like from the mask marking, it's only been like five minutes or so, right? Um, but it's still, it, it, there weren't any any intersections, right? It was just mm -hmm. a straight path. And okay. then to the left is circular hub that expanded with the letter that you couldn't, couldn't pick the, the lid anyway. Um, so you feel like you would, should continue if you want to reach your destination, but okay. this seems like a reasonable place to take a short rest if you would like to do so. Um, as as you watch deeper into the the sewer tunnel, um, you see that the uh, the the sidewalks get get smaller and at some point disappear uh, within like the next one hundred meters or so, right? Uh -oh. appear into the darkness um however um this appears to be like one of the tunnels like not the main tunnel anymore but it's getting narrower and narrower and you feel like uh, you shouldn't worry about carrying crawlers around here that much okay like also the, the water doesn't seem to be that deep right it's not clear by any means but you can see through it fairly well okay Seeing that, I look at the, the circular area and I say, it's as good a spot as we will find to rest before, well, we enter the lair of the lion, if you, the lion's den, if you will. So... I trust you word rune still, and then just, as it just says, I'm just leaning to the wall, letting myself slide down, resting my axe, and like in the instance you hear... <laughs> <laughs> Rurik has the superpower to instantly fall asleep, just like that, There's actually a flow of it. <laughs> if a uh, situation or uh, or uh, stuff is like not not pushing his interest, ah! he kind of I love it. Uh, I, I, I love it. It reminds me of the movie Crank, actually, with Jason <laughs> Statham. Where you have to always have to be action and run to stay alive. Yeah. Uh, we might have I to once saw him elevate sleep in there. his own puke. Anyway, um, well, doesn't so, need rest, so he's gonna keep watch in the meantime. All right. Um, laugh in that case. Uh, make a perception check for me. Please. Well, yeah, let's take a short rest. Uh, I will definitely. I'm pretty hurt. Seventeen. All right. Uh, feel free to uh, reset your cooldowns of yep. your abilities that have a short rest cooldown, as well as. Uh, spend spending hit dice uh, if you wish to do so. As always, um, you can roll hit dice uh, as well as and adding your con mod to restore hit points. That's decent. Two hit dice spent, so that's your pool gone for yeah. today. Um, so a short rest takes about an hour, right? You drink something, you eat something, just having a little rest, having a little chit chat. Uh, contemplating what might be ahead, uh, where you're going. Uh, 
Life, you're standing at the edge of this uh, hub and peering into the darkness of those tunnels. As you see, just wait, give me a second. So there's like a slight flow in the sewer tunnel, right? You see fecal matter, toilet paper, um, stuff like that going by. And yes, this is water deep. It's a very civilized city. They even use toilet paper. Um, before you, you start asking questions. Um, so from as you as you watch down and peer at the flow, um, a little object uh, catches your attention as it kind of floats um, down. Just let me check real quick. It appears to be a little uh, ladder bundle, pretty much, right? Maybe this big, uh, floating on a on a piece of wood, kind of. One of edge, one of the edges. You almost feel like you saw something uh, metallic, like a shiny object within, as it flows down. Hmm, would I be able to reach? Um, without uh, getting dirty footing in the sewers, uh, you would have to make an acrobatics check, actually. Huh. Not a difficult one, okay. but it is nonetheless. You might fall into How about if like, I stretch my longbow out to catch okay. it? Sure, in that case, make it with advantage. That's a, good, that's a great idea. Okay, so a... Acrobatics check with advantage. Acrobatics. Okay. As you kind of try to... Here comes the crit fail. <laughs> uh, well, you try to come on, come on, and just shove it. Uh, kind of, it it is fairly difficult. Twelve is just enough uh, to kind of you almost it almost falls off into the shit right uh, next to it. You're like no 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 no, <laughs> and you kind of throw it into the air, drop your low bow, and uh, catch it. Um, but. Uh, in the process of doing so, you get some, well, <laughs> spray, uh, uh, brownish, yeah. greenish, pop, <laughs> water in your mouth. In my mouth. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were like, <gasps> I'm not poisoned though. Breathing. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> and I take a lot of. I don't know. I think you should do a constitution roll. You, I think you should shut the fuck unwrapped up. <laughs> a little leathery package, and it appears to be um, a somewhat small, right? Uh, a somewhat small bronze key. Okay. Um, it's probably too convenient that this key fits in the uh, in the hatch up there, but I'm still gonna. Uh, just go on the park. While, while you guys are resting, you see Blav walking in a fast pace right through the room, going up the ladder and putting in the key into the lock. Does it and fit? as you turn around, it actually fits, but in the other way around, right? It doesn't unlock it, but rather, as you push it in and turn it, you hear a second clicking noise <laughs> click shutting it off like uh, it pushes the key out it falls to the ground boom, 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 boom. but you see the keyhole now <laughs> shutting okay well i've uh, brown key is still intact attacks from above guys nobody's come down there <laughs> Alrighty. um that kind of wraps up the short rest you all feel Slightly better. We start so we gained some hit points. Um, some of you even. I'm not sure. Or was the only room? But you feel better anyway. That's what I'm saying. Um, 
I'd like to hold on to the key, by the way. Sure. Is there a, uh, I didn't get in your inventory. Uh, how <laughs> much of a numbers do we regain in in, uh, in HP? You uh, have to only if you spend your hit die. die. If you only don't have any, you don't get anything. Yes, it's the same way as with your dwarven fortitude, right? That's the same hit point hit hit point pool, pretty much, like your constitution. Oh, um, because if you want, you can spend it now, right? At a at a short rest, and then. I'll just click uh, hit, just click hit die, uh, and then it will automatically roll it. Six six point hit points that is that you will regain. Good. So now I'm nineteen from twenty three. That's good. Ooh, better than nothing, isn't it? Better than nothing. Better than nothing. So you want to continue? Simple as sure. you would like to. Alrighty, in that case, uh, make another stealth check for me, all of you guys. Um, oh god. Rick and Rune again with disadvantage. Mm hmm. Ooh. Still a 13, at least. 13, 4, 12. Are you kidding me? Oh god. Um, I had a is missing, as well as Rurik. No, really for a little six. No, that was just a dice. <laughs> okay, you don't need to roll again. That's the worst <laughs> that can happen. That's the worst that can happen. Tyron? <laughs> On the best stuff you can get. There. there we go. Before right. we continue, by the way, is there anything special about this key at all, or is it just a key? Oh, make a make a um, make an investigation. Check. So while investigating, I'm mostly super loud, so I rolled a four for stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is um, a key. Right, it, 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 <clears throat> it is a key. Right, okay. that would be below DC five. You don't be sure anymore. Well, it it is a key. Uh, it is made of uh, bronze or brass. You're not one hundred percent sure. Um, some some copperish metal, tone, brownish. Um, it is rather rather ornate, actually. Even uh, you might say, um, and it has like like the ornations are small gears, pretty much that are engraved in the handle of the key. Um, and there's also what languages do you know? Um, I've got the common dwarvish and elven. No, uh, but there are some like runes, kind of, that you are not able to decipher. Okay. I would like to let the party know about uh, about the runes, or ask if anybody can read them. Does anybody speak uh, other languages than common, elvish, dwarven? Not me. Elvish. Uh, Add that already. It's not draconic either. I think that's about the languages we don't, have in this part. Yeah, yeah, don't don't don't, don't feel like don't feel like uh, some someone would know. It. So yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide it in my pocket. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still, I, uh, I also celestial. It's not celestial either. Sorry. <laughs> but so. Uh, <laughs> Nice. It might be. A, it's a long shot, but still, might be. Might be right. Better ask it. Swedish. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you as you continue into the dark tunnels of this uh, sewer system, once again, as you approach the end, the, the tunnel kind of ends and feels like a T intersection as that expands into like a, a quadratic hub this time. Um, give me a second to go where I want you to go. Pardon me. So this tunnel you went through now uh, expands into like a circular uh, with two small arrow slits across from each other. Um, but there's two passages continuing to the north and south. And at the back, to the left, you can see a wooden door uh, at a, above a ledge, stone ledge. You see a wooden door in the back wall. 
Um, I will pull you to our page, or rather, battle map, as we, for the first time, had into kind of a dungeon crawl, I'd say. Ooh! ooh. Nice. Yeah, Somewhat baby. dungeon -y crawl. This is my time to shine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to die again. <laughs> I tried everything to set things up and troubleshoot things with the lightning issues we had last time with the random encounter the carrying crawler. But now I feel like we managed to to put on the light light sources as well. Um, so let's try things out. First things first, I'm gonna pull you on the battle map. Um, only person who is able to see something should be Rurik for the time being, as he is the only one with dark vision. Right, we're over there. Can you see something, Corm? I can see something, yeah. Alrighty. Right. That's you, you having you having dark vision, right? Um the others can't, because they we going to have to add the light sources to them, right? I'm gonna do so. So first things first, here's the light cantrip. So now everybody should be able to see something, right? Yeah. Yep. So what I'll try to do is uh first things first, I just move your mini. Sarifas, right? And I just put it above your mini. Kind of looks stupid, but we can try. All right. right. Chat's bright light. I uh, edited it that way, and you should be able to edit and control it. So if you just pull like a box over your token instead of clicking it, you should be able to move it as well. No? Nope. I. I don't have control over it. Sorry, okay, then I will give you control through it, because it was for the page. There we go. Now you should be able to do so. Yeah. yeah. Works. Nice. So that's what hey. we roll for, all right? Next thing is the torch for our uh, brother in arms. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you control over it, Fenders. There you go. Now you should be able to do so as well. Okay, I'll test in a second. Question, are we going from left to right here or right well, to right? You came from over here. This is the, the okay. kind of hub that you notice. It works! Beautiful. All right. So even if it, it doesn't work at some point, you can move the torch by yourself. Even if it, due to some reason it doesn't work, just fix it yourself. Right. Okay. Um, you can decide your marching or feel free to do so. Which Which... Which direction are we going right now? Like left this, or right? This direction. Okay. I'm probably going first. Uh, I'm guessing with Rurik. So you can move yourself to the entrance of that that quadratic hall okay. to take a look. You will need light sources over there though, to see something. Unless you're Rurik. Um, just to remember, uh, you just going to reset the fog real quick because apparently I did some fooling around. Uh, there we go. Now we should be good to go. Alrighty. Uh, I'd like to light a torch. Grab too, your. Uh, there we go. Um, if I could. Y you've got a torch? Sure. Uh, yep. In that case, you reach to your backpack and light the torch. Remember, uh, you can turn your uh, tokens by uh, clicking them. Pressing E, holding E, and scrolling with your mouse. Oh, scrolling. <laughs> um, my character does something very strange if I do that. What are you doing? Please. I hold E. Yes. And I was using the mouse wheel to scroll around. And it started out as a small <coughs> circle going in one circle, and then it suddenly. It will pop the wall. back. You should not overdo it, otherwise, it goes crazy. Just try it. If you do it once, not drrrrp, uh, it, it, it works. I did some <laughs> issues. Yes, it. I, I tried <laughs> yeah. doing that. If you have selected two tokens, it actually moves them away from the middle. 